Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and welcome to Stamping Through My Stash. That means that it is a Wednesday, and every Wednesday I pick a stamp that hasn't seen ink yet. Now, sometimes I smudge a little with that. I have used this stamp set already. However, I love it very much. It has been, it has been designed by Natalie Travis, my good friend from California, and it's a faith-based stamp with some amazing scripture verses that will encourage you and some beautiful leaf designs. Um, I, I don't think I've, I mean, I've stamped with this before and I think I've told the story. Um, I don't know if it was her daughter-in-law, but someone close to Natalie had a health scare. She was given the wrong medicine and this medicine made her suicidal. So it was really freaky and, um, art therapy works in this leaf design is one that her friend or her loved one designed. And so she incorporated that into her stamp set. So let's have a look. At the end of this video, I am going to be making something with these stamps, so stick with me. Um, we're going to just stamp them all, and the reason we do this is because when you stamp your stamps, you will be more inspired to use them, and you'll notice if there's anything wrong with them. So, and I do, I am aware that the picture in picture is larger than what it normally is. I'm having an issue with many cam. And it's not letting me adjust that. So I'm trying to work alongside of it. But um, sometimes you guys are very helpful. And you say, you know, Jackie, I wish you would, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've tried and I will try again. But for now, we're just going to have to live with it. So you can see how nice these, these sayings are. They make me super happy. And I think that you can really use these to encourage people. And those are the texts. There's four of them. And then there's designs. Oh, see, this one I'm going to have to trim a little bit. Or you just have to tap a little bit more lightly. So we're going to clean these off for a minute. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the stamps. I'm stamping in Misty Moonlight. One of my favorite stamp colors right now. I'm using it all the time. I forgot to introduce myself as well. I always call myself the Pampered Stamper because that's the name of my business. And I call myself that because I like to pamper my customers and I like to pamper my team members. I love to bake and cook and whenever we get together we eat well. Um, and I like to pamper my team members with lots of free PDFs, free training and wonderful experiences. We do great retreats every year, one or two depending. So now we're going to do these, and there's one for each side because you'll see why that's important. So here, they're meant to frame your saying. So we're going to do this here. And then I'm right away going to do it on a white circle. So, well, you know what? I can't see it like that. I'm going to have to do it on the gray. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. I wanted to put my text beside that. So it's a good thing I did this. It might not look exactly the way I thought it was going to look. Now we're going to do the other one. You know, I'm a very impatient person. And in between, when I stamp these, I have to clean it again before I can put the next stamp on. And that's why I kind of wish I had like 20 blocks. In Canada, I must have at least 20 blocks. And then I can just load them all up on blocks and I don't have to clean. How lazy is that? So there you have those. They're beautiful for coloring as well. I was cleaning off my desk and I had a few of these colored with blends and they were beautiful. And now I threw them out. Now I regret that, of course. Then we have, you know what? I'm gonna put them both on the same block. Let's see. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, Jackie, patience, my girl. Here. And then clean it and we'll do the second one but you can see what a lovely design this is it kind of matches with the dress i'm wearing i bought this dress or actually it was a birthday present for me from my husband gerard it sounds so nice to say that we found it in norway just by coincidence i saw a window a second floor window in this beautiful white clapboard building and in the window were all these clothes that were all blue and white so i just had to check them out and this dress was among them so super happy. I love wearing dresses. Here, now we have a dotty one. Now I don't know, you can add the dots anywhere. See, you could add them 
in like so with your design. See, it adds, just adds to it. And then look, we could do it around here too. See if you wanted to make it more of a pattern. All right, then let's take a look. Now we have our circle again. And what I wanted to do is put this one with it. The Lord bless and keep you. Will it fit? It will. And then we're going to make something with this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Now what you can do, now I, maybe I waited too long, you could take a blender pen and you can just go over it without doing anything and it just spreads the ink that was already in there. See, isn't that a cool trick? And don't press hard or you'll ruin your paper. But it just makes it a softer image. So now we're going to put this on a scallop circle. These are the layering circles dies. Okay, so we'll put that together and that's going to be an element on the thing that we're going to create. This will be a nice thing that you could make if you're having a party or a gathering of people. It can be your own family. It can be a Bible study group here. Okay, so now we're going to take, I'm just laying that aside, we're going to take a piece of pattern paper that is 8 inches by 12 inches. Okay? 8 inches by 12 inches. So we're taking our paper trimmer and I need to put the arm out as well because we're going to go, it's up to 12 inches. Now we're going to score, actually you know what, I'm not going to use my paper trimmer. Instead of a paper trimmer, we're going to use this Simply Scored tool because when you're making 3D items, then you want really precision scoring. So the grooves are right in here. We're scoring at 3 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. Okay? And there's a thing that right here that holds the scoring tool right in there so you don't lose it, which is quite wonderful. And now we're going to just take this and fold it on all the score lines. Fold it and bone folder. Oh, I had my bone folder this morning. Oh, it's right here. You want to crisply fold on every single line. And you know what I'm going to do? When I fold this over, this piece is always a little bit too tight. I'm going to trim a wee little bit off. And then, and I suppose I could have moved my score line a little bit, but it's much easier to just trim. So I'm going to trim a little tiny piece off of each end. And, and just a hair, like really the first little line there. It's like a sixteenth of an inch, the first line on your paper trimmer. There. Might be an eighth of an inch. Okay. So now we have these and what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner and fold it down close you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna fold it back like this because it has to go close to the edge and I can't see the edge when it's like that so we're gonna fold it close to the edge and then give it a nice crisp okay so that's the first one and you know what I did it wrong I want it to go I want the other side to be I want this to be the outside of my little package so that's good and then this one is going to fold down all the way to the middle so I'm going to fold it in half and fold this one down all the way to the middle line not quite to the very edge I want to leave a little bit now we're going to give that a, a good firm crisp fold and then we're going to fold this over as well so let's do that down there. Now we're going to re-fold it all because it's bubbling a little bit and then watch this is going to go over like this and this is going to go like that and then we have this cute package. So we're first going to add a little bit of glue to everything to make sure that it stays in place. Put a little bit in behind here, there, and then a little bit here, here. It's just a fold. It's not a box. Oh, there's a little bit. It's a little bumpy. That's okay. The trick is not to sweat the small stuff. There's a book about that. Don't sweat the small stuff. And then it says it's all small stuff. We waste so much energy stressing about things. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive along the bottom here. And then maybe along this edge. See? There. And now this piece is going to go around like so. So here I'm just going to add there. So here we have our cute little package and now you're probably wondering what are we going to do with this. We're first going to put a belly band around it. This is just an inch and a quarter and I didn't even bother measuring. So what I'm going to do is just fold it lay it over, fold, and then fold, and then fold back so that I have a little bit of a, a piece. So now, now I know where to cut. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to use a paper trimmer. There. And we'll put that piece on the bottom in case it's not perfectly straight. And we'll put a little bit of glue here. Not too tight because you want it to slide off if you have to. That's a belly band. And then we could tie a bow around it, but what we're going to do is put this right here. It covers up the whole belly band. You don't even see it, but on the back you'll see it. So we'll put a couple of dimensionals on there. Maybe three. Right down the middle. Actually, you know, it might have been better to just have put them right in the middle here. I wonder if I can still take them off. Yeah, see? That way they're right centered perfectly. There. Take the backings off. And then, like so, and then in here, you're going to put your cutlery. How cool is that? And then you can have this sitting at everybody's PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation, <laughs> at everybody's place setting. There. Isn't that lovely? So, Simple way to use this stamp set that's not a card. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you um, if you love this, this uh, project, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love to connect with you and share with your friends so that more people will follow my channel. Remember those two little words, show more underneath the video. That will give you the links so that you can shop with me and that you can read the story behind this project. All right, have a super day. Bye.